What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with a Saturday delivery special for you. This is the T-Mobile G2X built by LG. It's really one of the new flagship handsets that's going to be available on T-Mobile. It's got a ton of awesome specs including a dual core Tegra 2 processor and a lot of other goodness we are going to get to. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hack this package open. So this was sent courtesy of the folks at T-Mobile for review. We haven't seen this in a while. We'll use the obligatory big old knife to cut into the FedEx box here. Insert joke about not cutting off my finger. I gotta say this knife is getting a little bit dull in its uh, old age. All right, rip open the package. I assume we got some press material in there. We do, which it looks like I totally destroyed. LG box, there we go. So this is what it's going to look like when you pick up your G2X from uh, T-Mobile, which actually you can go ahead and place your order today, uh, the G2X rather. Uh, it is actually the American brother of the LG Optimus 2X. If you're in Europe and you've seen the LG Optimus 2X or somewhere else where it's sold, uh, this is the US equivalent. Take a quick look at the box and then we'll jump in and check out the device. G2X with Google, T-Mobile, picture of the phone. Got some important, tell us it's brand new, that seal, oh no, that seal has been broken. Maybe they popped in a SIM card. Uh, on the back, letting you know some of the specs, we'll talk about all that stuff. Big one there is powered by NVIDIA's Tegra 2, and nothing really else in the box. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up, and I'll run through all the specs and uh, that goodness. So here is the phone. It's got a nice feel to it, and it looks like it was already powered on. So the battery's in there. We'll push it off to the side very quickly and take a look at what I expect to be a pretty standard array of accessories in the box. Got some reading material, getting started guide, micro USB cable, wall cable. Don't appear to be any uh, stereo headphones in there though. So the phone was on, that makes this a lot easier. Let's go ahead and run through uh, the specs, emergency dialer, let's not call 911. Uh, okay, so here is the G2X. Let me bring the camera in just a little bit. I will say on first blush, and certainly without reviewing it or using it, uh, it does have a nice feel to it. The back is that sort of soft touch that we've been seeing quite a bit in a lot of phones. Um, that soft touch feel actually seems to extend to that little bit of metal. I wonder if there's plastic on that. It needs to come off, uh, and there is. So now it feels metal, no more soft touch. You can see that uh, eight megapixel camera looking at you. So let me run through what you're going to get with this guy. So of course you're gonna get that Tegra 2, which is a dual core, one gigahertz on each core processor, uh, which should be crazy fast. The Quadrant scores uh, for Tegra 2 phones are blazing. Uh, this is Android 2.2 Froyo. Uh, it's 2.2 without any bloatware. T-Mobile is really pushing that. This is 2.2 Android as Google built it without any skin or anything else on it. You've got a four inch screen that's always measured diagonal and that's not edge to edge, that's just screen corner to screen corner with a now very common resolution of 480 by 800. I'd love to say common because that's a pretty nice resolution. It's great that a lot of phones are getting it. Uh, from a weight standpoint, it's gonna clock in at just about five ounces or 142 grams if you are so inclined. The battery, which we'll take a look at in the back, is in there is going to be 1500 milliamp hours and T-Mobile's claiming that's gonna get you about 7.8 hours of talk time uh, or 400 hours of standby, standby time, standby time, which would be, I don't know, I'm guessing that's something like 17-ish days, if my math is good, which probably is not. Uh, for those of you gamers out there who like to do any sort of 3D intensive stuff, uh, this does have a 3D graphics hardware accelerator, so games should look pretty awesome on it. On the back, if you go ahead and flip that phone over, we will see the 8 megapixel camera that I talked about with LED flash. That's actually the camera, that's the flash. Uh, which also has sort of a cool functionality, it does multi-shot panorama. So if you want to look at a panoramic scene, you can take a picture of that. Actually, I'll take a few pictures and loop them all together. Uh, it will take video at 920 by 1080, and that 1080 number uh, means you're going to get HD video at 1080p. Uh, for those of you guys who are wondering why Cisco killed the Flip brand, uh, phones like this are the reason. This is 1080p. We'll see how impressive it is. Uh, on the front, there also lives another camera of pretty nice resolution. This is 1.3 megapixels, uh, which is a lot higher than what we've seen on most front-facing cameras, or at least the majority of front-facing cameras, generally they're VGA. 
Uh, uh, other sort of goodness, you got Wi-Fi, 802.11b, GNN. Of course, support for T-Mobile's 4G. You're going to have 8 gigs of storage built in. On the top, we'll have HDMI out. I'll give a walkthrough of the phone, so if you want to get your HDMI out going on, uh, you can do that here. It doesn't look like the cable was included. Uh, and LG has really been pushing DLNA, which is a way to sort of wirelessly kick content from your phone to a DLNA, I keep saying DNA, a uh, DLNA device, sort of similar to Apple's AirPlay. Uh, you just need a capable uh, device to receive the signal. So let's take a quick look at the phone. We got nothing rocking the left-hand side. On the right, I assume we'll have a little bit of action. Volume, looks like there's separate volume up and down buttons, not a rocker. And that is about it. On the top, and I really like when phone manufacturers do this, uh, they put the lock and power button on the upper right-hand side. Uh, it really just feels like a natural feel to me. Sometimes HTC puts it there, sometimes they'll move it. Uh, it looks like LG really did a nice job, at least in my opinion, put it on the upper right. There is your HDMI out, living under a little bit of a door. 3.5 millimeter headset jack. On the bottom, there's your micro USB charging and dual speakers. And there's a microphone I'm sure living there somewhere. On the back, as you guys saw, we got the camera, LED flash, that with Google strip. Let's go ahead and pull off the back here, if I can figure this out, and we can see what we're going to be getting in there. All right, so the back looks pretty easy to pull off. There's a little notch there. Go ahead and run your finger around it, and we can pull off the soft touch back. Don't we'll take a look at what sort of storage or memory you're going to be getting. So there's the battery that I mentioned is the 1500 milliamp hours. This is going to come with 8 gigs of storage inside. Uh, it does not look like we're going to have any sort of micro SD uh, expansion going to be coming in the box. Perhaps when they ship the actual units, uh, you might have some sort, but it doesn't look like there's anything included in there. That's where it would live. You don't have to take out the battery to get to it though, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to shut this thing down and do a boot up. I know people are sort of curious about boot up times, especially with these Tegra 2 phones, uh, how quick or slow they might be. So I'm surprised this guy still even has a charge. Let's go ahead and you can see what the official name is, LG P99999. Let's go ahead and turn this off and see if we can get a boot up time. Power off, we'll turn it back on, and let's see how quick it is. I'm always very curious, the Tegra 2 phones tend to boot up very, very quickly. I uh, will see if that's the case here as well. I really like that T-Mobile has made it sort of straight up Android, no skins on it, um, to give you the native Android experience that you can choose to customize as you like. That's really one of the benefits of Android. And one of the reasons a lot of people love Android. So we've got an LG splash screen, life's good. I don't know if, that's what LG stands for, but they always say that in commercials. Life's good with the smiley guy. Um, I haven't really been the biggest fan of LG phones in the past. Um, this one is supposed to go in a very different direction uh, and actually seems to have a pretty nice build quality. So hopefully this will be the start of a new trend for them. So T-Mobile G2X. You guys remember the original G1 when it first came out, the very first Android phone? Didn't even have an on-screen keyboard. And here we are, back. Uh, so that was actually a very quick boot up. No Tegra 2 splash screen, which is kind of interesting. And now we are good to go. So let's go ahead and tap the Android guy. Skip all this business. Let's go ahead and skip this, and hopefully we should get right into Android 2.2. And there we are. Looks pretty straightforward. Getting a nice 4G signal. And there's nothing else going on here other than straight Android. Uh, you do have the Tegra Zone. Uh, those are games specially designed by NVIDIA uh, to be optimized for the Tegra 2 chipset. It's supposed to work uh, very well and supposed to be some really neat games in there. So we'll take a look at uh, Tegra Zone. Let's run into applications, see if really there is nothing else bundled in here. Got a T-Mobile app pack. You can see you've got that 3D view. This is very native Android 2.2. Got Tegra game, Smart Share, and looks to be about it. The only things that are bundled are those few things. What's the T-Mobile App Pack? Welcome to App Pack. Looks like there are a few sort of T-Mobile specific things you get access to. Highlights or T-Mobile Mall. Um, we'll go ahead and exit out of that. Uh, four capacitive buttons at the bottom. I probably should have mentioned. Uh, you've got your typical Android buttons. That new looking one is just going to be uh, the menu. All right, and if you guys want to see a size comparison to what this is going to look like with a few other phones, uh, here is an iPhone 4, a little bit smaller screen. You can see how thin this guy really is. And here is its T-Mobile Stablemate. We've got the Sidekick 4G. Certainly the Sidekick is a little bit fatter because of that slide-out QWERTY keyboard, which you guys may have seen in previous videos. It lives right there. Slide that back. 
Uh, so the G2X is actually a very thin, uh, slender device. Go ahead and line all those up. Anyway guys, what do you think about the G2X? If you're a T-Mobile fan, this might be the phone that you've been waiting for. Uh, great build quality, got that next generation hardware. The Tegra 2 is a screamer. Uh, and hopefully all the software is going to be optimized uh, for that hardware. It's certainly been one of the disadvantages as opposed to having this awesome hardware uh, as Android 2.2 hasn't taken full advantage of that yet. Uh, but with future updates, hopefully we'll see that. Uh, rectified. Anyway guys, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with a satirist. Blah.